All right, guys, I'm going to be making a tutorial video on how to polish one of these Dark Knight um, Avan Aventor Lamborghini. So, this is how it starts out. Then, take it apart, we drill these out here. Okay, then we've got, uh, take some stripper, some aircraft stripper gel, put it in a, uh, like a chili can, and, uh, dip it in there for about an hour and then get all the uh, goob off of it uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the inside of that sorry my hands shaky and then we're going to uh, polish that up too and then we are going to take we took the wheels off of it oops my bad took the wheels off of it and we're going to use the Chevy Love ones because they're the same wheels but they're chrome so we're going to use those so let's get started I'm going to try to cut in and out, uh, so this isn't a super long video, so, let's go. Okay, so, you, you guys are going to have to watch my, I'm not going to make a huge video, and watch my wheel swap tutorial to show you how to take these things apart. Um, and then stripping is pretty easy. You're going to want to buy some aircraft um, stripper, or you can buy that gel, the citrus gel paint stripper um, pretty much at Walmart or any stores but the aircraft uh, paint stripper works best and if you put it in just a cup or a can uh, most likely a metal can just fill it full of that because you buy a gallon and you dip this stuff in there and it'll take the paint off you just take a wire brush and you get all this off just takes a little bit of time so it probably took me about 20 minutes to get all that off so um, then we're going to move over to what else you need here you're going to need um i've got 400 grit i've got 600 grit sandpaper we've got 800 1000 and 1500 and then we're going to move to 3000 this is a little pad you can buy this also at autozone and then a 5000 for finishing uh, these are what they're going to look like there's going to be different grits you're going to buy four you're going to buy 400 through 1500 and i'd recommend buying these 3,000 and 5,000 pads because these are really easy to use. So, um, we're going to start with the first step. We're going to use water. We're going to do some wet sanding on this thing, squirt some water onto it. So, I'll start off by showing you the first step here. Get that out of the way. So, we are going to get this wet. This whole area is going to get wet. We're going to get the car wet. Yeah, and we're going to hit it. Let me get this out of the way. We're going to hit it with the 400 grit. And we're just going to get all the high spots over here. As you can see, there's some high spots. So we're just going to spend some time getting all the bigger imperfections off the car. Uh, make sure you get all the spots. There's a line right in there. You want to make sure you cover that up and get that. All right, so I'm just going to start by doing this. I'm going to show you the end result here in a second. I'm going to cut out be right back. Okay, so we're coming along, we're almost done, um, getting the front end there, you still see there's some high spots, and then we're going to get all the flat spots here, so we're still on 400, and I'll show you, we'll move on to 600 in a second here. Okay, so I do like to use a Dermal 2 and the wire brush to kind of speed up the process, because we're going to have a lot of areas that are going to be kind of lengthy polish. So we're going to hit it with a wire brush and a Dremel. You're going to want to have a Dremel to cut back a lot of time. You just want to get the heavy imperfections off before you start Dremeling. So this is a pretty good casting, so we really don't have to do too much work on any pitting. Some of the bodies, like the 57 Chev, are really pity. And 510s are pretty good. Arc 7 I just did. Fast and Furious one's really good too. So we're going to hit this with a Dremel tool and all the hard to, read, uh, hard to reach places. And then once we're done with that, we'll hit it with the 600 grit, 800 grit, 1000, then 1500. Okay, here's what it looks like after you hit it with the Dremel tool. Now you're going to want to make sure you wear eye protection. You don't want to catch one of those little uh, metal shards in your eye. So make sure to wear 
my prediction because I totally am right now. All right, so now that this thing's pretty cleaned up, we're gonna wanna move on to 600 grit here. And we're gonna get some more, just use this pad, I'll use this little squirt bottle. I just squirt a little bit of water down here. And then we are just going to continue the next stage of polishing and get all the high spots here. So 600, and once I'm done with this, we'll move on to 800. Okay, we are done with the 600, so this is the end result. Um, still a little wet. She's looking good. Hit a little bit more. Peter, make sure, like I said, get all the high spots. Or low spots, excuse me. This thing nice and clean, we're gonna move on to 800. Okay, moving on to 800 grit. A little bit more water down here on the table. Dab this in there. And just keep hitting it layer by layer. So I'll be right back once I get most of this done. Hey right, guys, I'm just about done with this. This will give you an arm workout of the century. Your forearms will be quite strong because there's a lot of back and forth movement. Um, so we have gotten that pretty good. I'm mainly concerned about the bigger spots to be the most polished, like the top of the car, the side of the cars. Back, you can only get so polished because there's a lot of little spots. Same with the front, so. We're gonna focus mostly on the flat areas, the tops and the sides. So, we are moving on to 1,000 grit. And we're gonna just gonna, like, like I said again, you only need small pieces for a car like this dip it in the water, repeat the process. Okay, so we've got most of the uh, thousand done here. You wanna make sure there's a groove on the top of the car here, here, and then on the hood, you wanna make sure you get in the grooves and get all that taken care of. So we are done with the thousand grit. We're gonna move to 1500 grit here. Here we go. So we are done with the 1500 grit here. Now. I'm not spending as much time as I normally would because I'm doing a tutorial video here. I'm not going to go as crazy as I did with the RX-7. Um, but we are going to go through the process here. So I've got my stack of old um, sandpaper here to move aside. And we are moving, we're going to move to 3,000 grit. And then we're going to do 5,000 grit. And then we are going to use... Um, a wheel, a polishing wheel on a Dremel tool and use some um, mag aluminum polish to polish it and then we're going to use a swirl remover and wax just to finish it off. So here we go. Okay, so get this wet. These are fun to use because they're, um, they're spongy so this part is really satisfying because it's not so crunchy sounding and you just keep dipping it in the water and you see it start to you can start to see a reflection on it so we're going to keep doing this and then we're going to move to the 5000 okay so we're almost done with the uh, 3000 grit here which is really light grit this is used to wet sand on cars so i do some detailing as well so i use 3000 grit and 5000 grit on cars on the paint so we're just about done with that we're going to move on to 5,000 and then we're going to use the uh, wheel mag polishing wheel to finish it up. Okay, so here's what the 5,000 grit looks like when we're about to the stage where everything's pretty, pretty dialed in. So now, I'm going to hit it for another second here. And we're going to move on to polishing it with a polishing wheel Dremel tool with mag polish yay okay be right back. okay now we're to the basically the final stage here where we're gonna take some mag aluminum wheel polish this stuff works really well mothers and I usually just go out of the cap here da dab it rub some on the car here and then we're just going to Hit pretty much panel by panel. Okay, 
can tell it shines. see a little bit of difference right there, can't you? Alright, so that's looking really good, so we're going to hit the rest of the car with that, and uh, I will be right back. Alright guys, so here is the side of the car with the 5000 grit, and here is the top of the car. Final product here, basically. You're going to hit the sides, and then you're going to hit it with a swirl remover slash wax. That's what I like to do to seal everything in, so almost there. Okay, so now I'm going to spray a little bit of uh, isoline prof uh, <laughs> isopropyl alka alcohol spray, propylene alka alka purple alka purple on it. You guys know what I'm talking about alcohol. Get all that off, and we are almost we're almost there. This guy's looking real shiny, so. And hit it with the basically the last step and then I'm gonna polish the base here too and I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Okay so last step for the polishing something I like to use because I detail cars with this is a, this is Adam's polish it's a swirl and wax all in one and I'll get some little swirls out of it and I'll put some wax on it at the same time. Uh, you can get this at the store at AutoZone as well. We're gonna put that on microfiber so we'll just dab a little bit on the car here and then we will just rub it all over the car and then after we're done with it we'll have to get into all those little spaces right there so this is the last step and then we're gonna let me show you how to excuse me sorry let me show you how to polish that and then we will go to putting the car together all right guys so I just put last little bit of just a really light layer of the wax and swirl remover on there and I'm just got try to get it out of all the crevices and everything and look what we got here oh yeah she is a beauty so we're gonna polish this up real quick here and we're gonna put it all together Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit of this, this uh, mag wheel and polish here. I'm going to dab, I'm going to dab some of that on the base here to get in all these crevices. I'm going to use this little wire brush and I'm going to hit that. this whole thing covered and then I am going to hit it with this wheel the polishing wheel okay that should brighten that way up as you can as you can see it's gonna brighten it up so I'll be right back
pretty cleaned up. We're gonna clean that off and take a look at it. Take a look. All right, that's all shined up. I kind of like to leave a little bit of the stuff in there so you can read all the writing very really well. I don't like to get it completely clean, so then you can read all the writing about the Lamborghini and the year of the Mattel and everything like that. So now we're gonna marry this thing together and uh, we're gonna put some different wheels on it. So um, I will go over that uh, shortly. Okay, so we will be using the wheels off of the 72 Chevy Love because they're chrome and they're the exact same wheels as the ones that came off, just a chrome version of it. So we're going to drill this out real quick. Alright, so we're not going to use uh, two, we're not going to use two sizes to drill this out. We're just going to use the one size, which is 11 64th size, and we are just going to Drill out because this is just a wheel donor. We don't we need to use it again. Just one more time. Okay. So we will split this thing apart. Okay. And then we will go in here. As you can see there, there's three little crimps. We're going to go in the middle of the crimps here. This can be a lengthy process depending on the car. But you're going to get in there and you're going to break that little three clump and you're going to be able to pop this thing out. You're going to do the same here. I'll okay, be right back. So we are going to take these apart, these wheels here. So we're going to crimp the end of these off here. Mm -hmm. Put these little colors in color. Derek is the peanut gallery right now. Peanut gallery is who you are. Yeah. Okay. What are you doing it, Peter? You're okay. Kidding. I'm going to crimp, crimp those off. No. Okay. And I'll be right. Okay. I have all these wheels separated here. So now we're going to use an axle here to make two different axles. And I'll show you how to do that. You're going to need these axles. You can get these at Michael's. The, the measurement is 0 0.32. And then you're going to need little beads. Uh, let me find one of those for you real quick here. Hold tight. I had them here a second ago. Okay, cool. so we're going to take this axle and we're going to put this bead on the end of it. Here is the info for these little beads. You can get also get it at um, like Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Bead treasures. Measurement is 11 slash zero delica galvanized silver about 6.99 for those there are a lot of them okay and then we are going to take one of these little beads we're going to set it down facing up you're not going to be able to see this these are super tiny we're going to put a little bit of super glue you're going to need some super glue it doesn't have to be gel it could just be regular super glue we're going to put a little bit of super glue on the end of this here. Just a little bit right there. And then we are going to put it down into the hole of this bead that you're also not going to be able to see. Okay, I'm just going to do it with my finger here. Okay, so as you can see, it's on the very end. And we're going to let that dry for a second. You're bound to get some super glue on your fingers if you're not wearing gloves. So. I don't like to wear gloves in this part because it's super delicate. So we have that on there. Now we're going to take one of our wheels and we are going to slide it onto the axle right there. And then look at that. Then we're going to take um, the car here. Okay, be right back. So these, the, uh, the skinnier wheels go in the front. So we're going to line these up and get these stanced out right because um, these wheels on the uh, on this Lambo are terrible. They're they're not they're not in the right spot. So we're going to put that in there. We're going to slide this other wheel on there. I don't have a very steady hand today. Let's slide that on there. We're going to line it up to where it fits flush. Yeah. And then we are going to snip it. Snip it just maybe a millimeter off of. 
snooker right there. And then after we're done with that, we're gonna glue another bead that we're gonna use uh, these these pliers here, these these needle nose pliers here. And uh, these beads are easy to lose. But we're gonna grab a we're gonna grab a bead here, get it facing the right direction. We're gonna get a little bit of super glue. And I got a lot of super glue. Gonna get this lined up right. Put that on there. Try not to super glue my hand together. So there we go. Sorry for the shakiness. So now it's in there. So we got one down, and now we're gonna do the same. Okay, we weird. got the bead on the end, and best basically just set it down with the super glue onto the end of it. Then we're going to thread this rear wheel on here. Okay, and go all the way down there. Okay, then we're going to put it in the back here. I'm just going to slide it through. Okay. And we're just going to kind of flush it up. We want these to sit flush. Gonna be the wheels aren't as wide in the rear, so it's gonna be a little tricky. I thought they were the same width at first, but looking at them again, they're not the same width. They're not as not as wide. Okay, so we got that situated. Now we're gonna put cut the the end of this off here. Put the um, the bead on the end there. Okay. Yeah. Now, now we have the um, the beads on her, and uh, she's looking looking real nice. Mm -hmm. And now we're gonna tap it, and then we're gonna put some screws in it. We'll be right back. We'll okay. show you these rear wheels. I had to put a little bit of a spacer of oh, the beads yeah. inside here because the wheels aren't as wide and I decided to use these chrome wheels instead of the black wheels. Um, if I do another one, I'd probably use these black wheels. So um, I had to space them out just be putting the beads in the inside. So we're going to put the car together now. Okay, so I've got it all together. It doesn't roll the greatest. It does roll, but it doesn't roll the greatest because um, if I was to do this again, I would probably use the black wheels because they are fatter and they fit better. But it does look nice. And I'm going to put the uh, screws in here and I'll probably make another tutorial video about how to do the screws um, at a later date. So, Alright, let me get a big view of this thing down here on the ground. It's pretty shiny. Alright guys, and that is how you polish a car. I hope this helps you. Have a great blessed day. Alright guys, here's a before and after of the Lamborghini Dark Knight. Here's it after the polishing. And wheel swap from the Chevy Love. It's pretty snazzy. Alright guys.